Hey gang, thanks for checking out this episode of Images Reimagined. This is where I review images that were submitted by photographers like you and give constructive feedback through my eyes and experience. This week's photo comes to us from Mark Coons in Normal, Illinois. You can check out Mark's work by following the link in the info section below. Normal, Illinois. There has to be a joke there somewhere. Be sure to stay tuned until the very end for a look at how I reimagined this image and also a look at how Mark worked this shot. Now Mark shared this very cool photo of a brass quintet. His assignment was to create some publicity shots in an outdoor setting for this group. He also shared the following technical details. The camera was a Canon 5D Mark III with a Sigma 50mm f1.4 art lens. The shutter speed was 1 250th of a second with an aperture of f11 and the ISO 200. Exposure was set using aperture priority automatic. Mark did his post-processing in Lightroom Creative Cloud and Alien Skin Exposure 10. Now I'm all about color, so this shot gets big points for me because it uses lots of color and it has loads of personality, not just from the mural on the wall, but from the great relaxed facial expressions of the performers. Mark explained to me that the shot was done in the evening and the wall faces west. So he was of course presented with the challenge of low and direct sunlight and really heavy shadows. Without a massive diffuser and no assistant available, Mark had to make do with the light that was there. And I think he did a great job of that. Now some folks will argue that he should have used fill flash, but honestly, I think that fill flash would have ruined this shot. My main concerns with the shot have to do with the post-processing. And while I understand that this shot was taken as the sun was beginning to set, I find the fact that the faces and especially the black outfits are yellow to be a little disturbing. Beyond that, there are a few little detail things that will have a small impact on the shot and I'll show you those as we process the image. So if we open up the raw file that Mark submitted, we can see that it is slightly underexposed but still very workable. The underexposure is a result of the auto exposure settings with no compensation. The wall behind the subjects has a lot of really bright areas that fold the meter. And this is a great example of why I'm not a fan of auto anything. You know, for running gun type shooting, auto ISO can be very handy, but it's still auto. For setup shots like this, I really recommend that you go with manual exposure and test and chimp and test and chimp to get the exposure just right. Now the framing on this is dead on. No crooked lines and the image required no cropping. It definitely fills the frame. So I want to lighten things up and fix the skin tones, especially on this guy. We don't want him to look like he has a sunburn. I'll also really push the saturation of the colors in the wall, and I'm going to clean up some of the stuff on the ground just to give the image a slightly cleaner setting and remove any distractions. My first step will be to develop the raw file twice. The first time I'm going to place the emphasis on getting the colors and the wall where I want them. Then I'll reopen the raw file and develop it to get the faces and the shadows where I want them. Next, I'll take both versions into a Photoshop PSD file, each as its own layer. I place the version for the colors in the wall on top, and then using the eraser tool, I'll erase out the faces, the clothing, and the shadows from the top layer. And yes, you can also make a mask to do the same thing. Both methods work. Take your pick. Next, I'll clean up the color on the red faces by selecting them and adjusting the hue and saturation levels. Then, using the healing tool, I'm going to remove some of the small distractions on the ground in front of their feet. Also, I'm going to tone down the shine on the trumpet player's forehead with a healing tool. Next, I'm going to add a number 81 warming filter to get some of that sunset color back into the shot and lighten the image just a tad more. And there you have it, my version of this image reimagined. Remember, I'm not saying that my image is better or correct. It is my vision of this image. You may have a different opinion, and if you do, please share it in the comments section below. Remember, stay constructive. You can say you don't like something, but offer a solution or alternative. Now, I promise to show you how Mark worked this shot. If you don't know what I mean by work the shot, be sure to watch this video. Here are a few other shots that Mark made with this group during the same session. Now, this shot could have benefited from much more shallow depth of field, as could this one. However, we can see that there has been some blurring added as an effect in post-production. It's a little hard to see in the video, but the woman in the center has her eyes partially closed, which also leads me to believe that you should be shooting more frames in a scenario like this, Mark. We also have this train station version, which I think could definitely have benefited from less depth of field. 
and this version, which is a little more casual. Amark also submitted another color version similar to the one that was selected, but I'm definitely not a fan of the post-processing here, and I suspect the Alien Skin plugin had a lot to do with that. All in all, great effort, Mark, and I believe that the image you selected was indeed your best shot. I hope you find this helpful. If you'd like to have your image reimagined, please follow this link. I also posted it in the info section below. Your image could be my next video. So until next time, remember that your next shot is the best shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you've got a question that you'd like answered, post it in the comment section below. Your question could be my next video.